Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Speedster Plays Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the last episode, we had a battle with the Cypher Ab with Cypher Ab and Snaddle that I just barely managed to make it through, and got ourselves two new Pokemon in the process, both of which are now in my team, Natu and Seal. And I've done some kerfuffling off screen to sort of my purified chambers and stuff. So now in this episode, we were told about some mysterious thing off in the desert by Justy, what people from Fanek were seeing. So how about we head right out and find out what is this mysterious thing in the desert? So there are a big question mark there. And it suffers witness transporting things in this area. So let's go straight for it. Or we could be if the tires didn't get bogged down in the sand and I I had to go back to Fennec City because I, I, I just couldn't head out. Huh. Oh, you! I don't trust you! Oh, it's the actual real one. You tried going to the Northern Desert, didn't you? The, the Northern Desert sand is very deep. An ordinary scooter couldn't possibly make it through that sand. Oh! What's this? Speed, we've been asked to help locate a missing Pokemon. It was among those missing with the SS Libra. Please visit us in Pyrite and speak with the missing Pokemon's owner. Okay, so we just sealed off that plot point, but I guess we just got a new plot point. So, let's head over to ONBS and see what this whole missing Pokemon debacle is about. Okay, we're all the way back at- oh. Not to get not be purified! I'm gonna wait and do this first. <laughs> that just probably sounded amazing to you guys. Yo, I heard I'm in Fennec from Marsha. I'm amazed they even managed to hold Justy hostage. By the way, that old gent came here with his granddaughter. He's looking for help miss finding a missing Pokemon. Speed, if you don't mind, please hear him out. Okay. What do you have to say, old man? I was sorry. I matched my witch hand. You're familiar with the news about the ship's SS Libra's disappearance. My granddaughter's Pokemon was on board, and it vanished with the ship. The Pokemon is one I found while tending to my garden. It was among my tiny bonsai trees. It's a new species, I'm certain of it. Please, I implore you, please find my missing Pokemon, if only for my granddaughter's sake. I suppose so, yeah. Oh, thank you, you're so kind. A Pokemon is named Bonsly. It looks very much like a potted plant, please help us. My granddaughter has a photo of Bonsly. Please ask her if you may see it. We'll try collecting information on our own, but to be honest, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. For the time being, there may be nothing we can do but gather information while tracking Cypher's movements. Speed, your clothes are covered in sand. What happened to you? I guess I explained it. That's big news! That could be Cypher's new hideout! But it may, but it may be too difficult for an ordinary scooter to, to cross the desert. It won't be easy getting there to investigate. Well, for help with something like that, how about Purr and Gaudi on port? If anyone can help... Oh yes, that's it! Good idea, Bit! Pierre's an old buddy of ours. He runs a mechanical shop with his grandpa, uh, grandpa Makan. Huh? You know the guy? Well, then we can cut right to the chase! I'll get in touch with him. I'm sure he'll come up with a means for you to cross the desert. Okay, and... We've got that, but how about we talk to this girl for a second? I have a fellow of Bonsai. Please have a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Photoshop at its finest. Please find my Bonsly. <laughs> that photo is just plain hilarious. This was probably the first Pokemon game that actually had um, Pokemon from Diamond and Peril actually appearing in a Pokemon game, but I'm sorry, those Munchlax is a pain in the ass in this game, and Bonsly just looks so fake. You could say that's like a fake screenshot. You could honestly say that, but... Okay, I guess we're gonna head to Gaudion Port, so I'll meet you over there where I go and see Pear, but wait, what am I talking about? First of all, we gotta go and purify Natu. Here we are, back at Agate Village, and it's time to purify our second last Shadow Pokemon. To get Natu back to the way it was before Cypher, I assume, tortured it and did horrible things to it. I showed it love and it wanted to join me, so let's see what it gets back. Guess like the move Future Sight. It's alright, but it could be better. And the move Baton Pass. And 2,770 experience points. And it elevates level 23. And that's it. Nothing other than that. But let's give it a nickname. Um, I haven't honestly given Natu's nickname that much of a thought. Um, let me think for a second. 
Okay, I think I have one. Uh, I think I've just come up with one. Um, Telekey. Telekey. Hmm, it makes sound weird, but it's like just short for telekinesis. But, okay. How about we just head down to Galleon Port now, and now we'll actually go, sorry, now we'll actually go to Galleon Port. See you guys there. Ah, okay, now we're back in Gadion Port, so I remember where the port shop is, so I would just head just right over. It's over here, unless I'm an idiot and I don't remember. Alright, hey, Pear. Yo, Speed, I hear from Bit. You want to cross the desert, do you? You want to be able to cross the desert on your scooter, right? All you need is a conversion kit. But Grandma's gone out again and hasn't come back just like before. Grandma's the only one who knows about all the parts we carry. Hmm? Hello viewers, this is Sek, OMBS's director. We're bringing you a special scoop. The courageous actions of a young boy thwarted a group of Cypher operatives who had infiltrated Fanax City. The footage shows the boy and his Pokemon driving over top Cypher Admin from the city stadium. Oh! <laughs> Cypher had been trying to take over the entire city by replacing its citizens with the Syndicate's members. OMBS was also targeted for takeover by Cypher. Despite the setback, Cypher appears to be growing more active. The authorities have issued a caution to all citizens and organizations to be alert to the possibility of further attacks. As you have seen, Cypher has returned with a vengeance. The entire Ori region is endangered again. OMBS promises to, do to doggedly pursue this story and provide you with the most accurate information on Cypher's actions. We must not allow Cypher to carry out his conspiracy of fear. Let us all protect the peace of Ori with courage. You're amazing! Well, I always thought you were amazing, but I didn't know how amazing! Here you are before my eyes, but you're also on the TV news. It's a, little f it's a funny little feeling. Hey, I figured it out. You want your you want your scooter modified so you can lay a smackdown on Cypher, right? Of all times, Grandpa would be out of the shop. It's a headache. He's over at Doctor Kamiko's Manor again. You you you'd be better off going to see him in person. Okay, so we got to go ahead back to Kamiko's Manor. Ah, you remember this place? Oh, cutscene. Oh, it's these guys. How you going, guys? Haven't seen you guys in a while. Oh my my, I haven't seen you for a while. I'm sure that you're quite the hero of FedEx City. Made impressions of you. Ho ho ho. Well, that was a short conversation. Touch. Awkward. Wait, my. I've released the top 10 hardest Pokemon battles. You know who those guys are. And if you haven't, I'm not gonna say what it is. But. It's time to head over to. The Kaminko's house. Just to see what's going on over here. Because we were told to go here. So. This ominous once again. And. Let's just head straight in and talk to Makan. Wait, who go there? Oh, it's the short sighted bastard again. You must be yellow burglar. I have some burglars. Trouble with the illustrate, don't you move? Chobin am I, and Chobin is the number one assistant, Dr. Kamenko. Chobin's still the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. Okay, so we go to battle Chobin again. Great. And I think his Pokemon have improved slightly? Yeah, he's got a Sunken and a Gyarados. That is a step up. That is considerably a step up. So, this is our first battle with Seal, and, ooh, already pretty much has a bar gone. Okay, so, should I keep Teleki in? Uh, okay, they're kind of low level in comparison, but, uh, it's worth staying in for now. Oh, it's using Thrash. Oh, God, please don't take anything down. Oh, Teleki, Teleki, Teleki. Oh, come on, Teleki. Uh, Van... Fantastic, fantabuloso! That was a good battle. Great. I want to tell you to get some experience, because it's not that far from from evolving. Okay, and it didn't even do that much damage to Sun Current. It's gonna do even less to Gyarados. Good old Seal. He's using green. green. Alright. Good to know you absorb nutrients. Uh, Alright. It's gonna be a fairly short battle, but I'm just gonna. Go ahead and revive Teleki just so it can get, just so she can get some experience points. Uh, that was annoying. Just thundershock it. Gyarados should go down from that, and yep, just went down. All right. 
Using Mega Drain. Um, should be able to handle it. Seal should be able to handle it. Oh, well, you can use it on Volster, which is stupid. Okay, just absorbing more nutrients. You can just do that all day, buddy. I'm not stopping you. You just do it. You just do you. You do you. That's the key thing. You do you. Alright. Sun Current is down. That was a pretty easy battle. Woo! Teleki! Teleki, we're level 24. Fantastic. One level away. One level away. Fantastic. Shovel lost. Shovel lost. Shovel lost. I don't know why his eyes, well, his spiral eyes disappeared from the glasses. It seems a bit weird. Shovel lost of the failures. Shovel. Shovel the band of the rematch. Shovel, what is the meaning of all your shouting? Uh, that's a connector. Look at hairy high pants over here. Some of us trying to teach the spoiler a lesson. Burglar, I'm not going to say, I'm actually need to be given to a burglar. Let's let the just completed IT handle him. That's how you all mean, IT? I said it! Some of us understand, it, it is. You wait, you're going to get it. Okay. Uh, it's a bit ominous. Okay. I believe I can, I can actually just leave. So, I'm just gonna go off and heal, and then I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I've shuffled some things up a bit, and hopefully I'll be ready for this battle. N don't, don't, just don't quote me on that right at the bat. <laughs> soon, yes, very soon, you'll see what we have in store for you. If you wish to flee, let it be now. Yes. Ah, so you created my vision, they'll be gone in quick. Well, we kind of have to do it, so... Uh, no. Ah, so it is the burglar, no matter what, our lesson needs to be taught. Fine, let us begin. Tweet. <laughs> tweet. <laughs> tweet. <laughs> tweet this battle. You have 150 characters or less. Though the rumble of thunder fills the air, the weather remains free of clouds. That is my tweet. <laughs> let thunder tear the skies and rend the earth. The time has come for the ultimate robo-pokemon to finally reveal itself. Robo-pokemon? Come hither, Robo Groudon! Oh, Robo Groudon. Oh, are we actually gonna battle a robot? Because that sounds amazing. Okay, so. Let's just drain the water from that. What is this? This is like some serious anime stuff here. Oh my. It's a lot smaller than I was imagining. Hmm. Oh, on, go! Hmm. Uh, this is how you battle. You've been warned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess this is a battle with Kivian is Robo Groudon Chobin. We don't actually battle this Robo Groudon. Instead, it sends out Pokemon. Okay, instantly his Sunflora of his Sunkern evolves into Sunflora instantaneously. Which is, I don't understand how that works, but, ah, uh, whatever. I decided to leave with Eruption because I don't think, um, Gyarados has any Water-type moves, if my memory serves me. So, okay, and, um, I don't think he'll be too tough, and Gyarados is using Bite. Hopefully this doesn't do too much damage. I don't think it will. Yeah, it didn't do that much damage because it's, Gyarados' special attack is not that high. Okay, Seal, show them your Shadow Wave! Show them your power, Seal! Why I chose you! Yes! Okay, Gyarados is gonna be the problem here, but now, show your power eruption! Struggle boosted Ember! Boom! Yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna take it on Sunflower. What's the floor gonna do? Sunny Day! Oh, it's gonna activate its Chlorophyll. So, Sunflower's gonna be faster now. Okay, so. I'm gonna use Ember on some floor again, and I'm probably gonna switch out Seal because I'm not chancing my luck here. Because uh, it has its chlorophyll's activated, and it probably has a Grass type move, so I'm just gonna switch to Voltster to deal with it. Uh, Gyarados is still faster. Okay. Let's see, uh, eruption, eruption, it can take it. You guys know the eruption's a boss, right? Yeah, I knew. I thought so. I was gonna go for Razor Leaf. Both of my Pokemon should be able to handle a Razor Leaf. Yeah, 
They're fine. Okay. Aww. The sunlight is strong. Good to know. Okay, Ember and... I'll just Thundershot Gyarados. This should just finish off Gyarados nice and quick. Because there's no way it's surviving that. Ah, down he goes. Woo! Go, everybody. And top it. Seriously. Don't even have a skip loom. Oh, you're using him green. That's cute. I have Ember. That, that also works. <laughs> and your Sunny Day boosted my power. So that's even better. Flop. Okay, Eruption got some experience. Teleki got some because I have Teleki with the experience share. And now it comes Tropius. Okay, so you still have some intense sunlight. Okay, so this should hopefully work out. This battle isn't too hard. It really isn't that hard. I remember when I first did this, I was I think I was just stupid a lot of the time. When my very first playthrough in this battle did give me some trouble, but then again I was stupid, so Tropius is using Stomp. Is Eruption going down? Oh no, you're attacking Voltster, so Voltster already attacked. But Eruption, just show them your Ember. How much is this gonna do this Tropius? Not as much as I was hoping. That's unfortunate. Both his Pokemon have Chlorophyll and Volster is getting sapped. For least I can probably take down Hoppet this turn. Probably not taking down Tropius, but at least Hoppet will be going down. Show them your Thundershock! Shocking, isn't it? Yes! Yeah, I mean... Robo Groudon looks awesome. I would have loved to have battled Robo Groudon instead of just it being just another trainer class. Okay, now I can take down Tropius. Oh, Voltster. I don't know why you're still attacking Voltster. Eruption's on the field. You could easily just target Eruption. But then again, if you're just going to be stupid, I'd rather not question it. It just means more problems for me if I question it. Oh, I burned Tropius. The sunlight faded. And does this take it down? Yes, it does. It did actually go down this turn. Oh, yes. Down it goes. Ah, yes, the satisfaction. Bam bam. <laughs> Shovel lost. Lost with Robocrown. Shovel lost. And Robocrown on malfunction just from losing the battle? I don't understand the logic of that. Bye, bad. I can my, my Robocrown on go down and defeat. Huh? Oh, close inspection. It's seen a while it's been. You seriously, how short sighted are you? You made me go into two battles just because you didn't recognize me. What? Our legend regular has made the showman's acquaintance and a child no less. Bah! Enough, enough of this nonsense. Give the Robo Groudon's other failure the half of Robo Kyogre doesn't inspire confidence, and I will ever be useful. Showman, see to where that Robo Kyogre says full of a scrap by Makan at the park shop. Understood? Huh? Where's that big development of Robo Kyogre? It's finished, over and done with. Kaboot! The whole Robo Pokemon plan is cancelled. It's cancelled! That's the way. Please tell me like to keep the Robo Groudon at least. <laughs> I don't want you to any Robo Scraps as you wish. What is up this guy's butt? I don't even know. Eh. <sighs> I thought we did to bring it so close to completion. Tell wants to know what brought here today. Tell sees you want to see the parts stuff, man. My kind of in the manner. Tell just you go in and have a look. In the meantime, Jovan must put away the Robo Groudon. Oh yes, it's me. Jovan like your PA number if you will be so kind. I suppose I should. I, well, I would rather not, I'll just give it to him. Trouble modify the Robo Groudon. Trouble like the rematch when the work is done. Okay, so we have that option, but let's go and find Makan. He should be down this way, I believe. In through here, and down. Your child, yes, yes, certainly prohibited. Oh, never mind. My base with RD rooms, I'm not going to update secrets. You may come in as soon as you wish, but you're not going to set Makan inside. Well, alright. And, uh, oh wait, I believe once I talk to Makan, I immediately have to leave. So, um, I think I'll go through here, because I never actually did go through here. I don't think I could go through here. It was when I was, when I came here the first time. So, we have a tiny little bit of a sort of puzzle here. This is the closest you can get to, like, the HM puzzles and stuff you get in other games. So, um, 
There is some stuff here that I can get. Okay. Just grab on and move across. Okay. Let's just move across. And oh, I should have gone over there, I think. Unless my memory is not as good, but I don't. Maybe I can even go that way. We'll just see what happens when I go across. Okay. So, this is enthralling. Let's go this way. We've got a sparkly. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I went to the wrong thing. And inside this item box, I believe, is one of the most amazing items in the game. It is. It's filled with sex white paper. There's writing on it. Try reading them. It's Jovi's random diary. Because that's what I've wanted to do. Read my little sister's diary. Screw that. Just screw it. Let's just see what's over here. We have a sparkly here. It should be something. And just we got Battle CD number 5. Battle CDs are just scattered all across the Ori region for no reason, honestly. So just... You can grab them if you want, but... I wouldn't always recommend them. But let's just head on over. I got that. And let's just... Go around, because... That was not worth showing. Not worth showing. That was stupid. I didn't even look at the diary entries because I know. I remember that they're boring. They're boring and stupid. So. Okay. Um. This is just a wall. Let's go down the elevator to where Makan is. But there's also some other stuff, I'm fairly sure. So. Oh, damn it. I went the wrong way. Cut back over here in this box. Got a rare candy. This could come in useful for a little bit later. Oh! Snow runs in the purified chamber. And it's Pinaco! Why must you stop the game to notify me of any of these things? Okay, let's talk to my cat. Mmm, so this is a robot. I look at that convenient go at other developments. They call it useless scrap. It's a man that I hold away. But you know, this is quite a weird and unusual machine. Well, you can be quite a start. And who might you be? Did you copy the Pokemon HQ lab? My name is Makan. I run the part shop. I got here port. How was the lab director, Professor Curry? Gain, yes? I explained what had been happening. Hmm, sorry for respect that. I thought you I thought they've they've they'd foiled five folded five years ago, but they returned Say, I didn't know how to speak words in my old age. So you want me to modify your scooter for desert crossing performance? Well you certainly are both even continue to face after alone. Fine, let's do it. I'll modify your scooter. Good deed you shouldn't wait. I'll I'll reach hold this rubber car go back to my shop right away. I'll see you there. Okay, let's get teleported straight back. Ew, what a shot that was. I'm finally done. I can finally into a hover type scooter. It'll be perfect for the desert. Go on, try it out right away. Okay, so now we have a hover scooter. I can't believe something like that exists, but apparently it does. So, let me just have a quick jiggle around with my stuff. Oh, and I should probably go heal. Uh, I gave. I'll just give back the sharp beak to Tele Teleki. Yes, yeah, swap two items and I'll go heal, and I'll meet you back at the overworld screen. Now that we're all healed up and everything, we can f and we have a new hover scooter, let's head out into the desert! Woo! I don't have wheels anymore! Let's just glide on over, and... What is it? Oh! It's the SS Libra! It's the ship from the beginning, that they always talk about. They've been talking about a lot in this game, so... It appears to be the SS Libra, the missing Pokemon transport ship. Yeah, I just kind of said that. So, let's head inside. Oh! No, no. Speed. Speed, thanks for being so patient. The pre-gym is finally set to reopen after the Cypher takeover bid. We're all looking forward to the opportunity of battling you, Speed. How nice. Okay, so. This is an area that actually has some block-pushing puzzles. If you can call them that. But... I recommend you just kind of use the D-pad here because it's more specific movement and yeah, if you walk it to a ledge, you jump off it. So let's see what's in here. Got an iron. Just get a pump up the iron. Just get a lot of that. Just get into the bloodstream of the Pokemon. It's good. You'll get... It's good. They get it from the meat and stuff. So... It's, I don't know what to commentate here. So... Yeah, this is a pretty interesting area, so, um, this is the Pokemon ship that was abandoned by Cypher, so, let's just keep heading on, I'm sure there's going to be something interesting here, and I don't 
know what that purple ooze is, but I really don't want to know what it is. So let's keep heading on up. Sure, there'll be something fascinating if we keep heading up. <laughs> After all I do to get it, we let one get away on us. Isn't that right, Snidle? Oh, yes, indeed. Such a lost opportunity for it was obviously rare. If only it had been caught. Why, if you, well, if you caught it, Gorgon, your collection would have been enhanced by 0.7%. Such a disappointing loss. It took off because you made so much noise, Gorgon, sir. I heard that. You're, you're pinning the blame on me? That's plain insubordination. I'm in a foul mood today. No, not plain foul. Foul, foul. Today of all days. Oh, Gorgon, sir, an intruder. Hi. Ah, that fool Snaddle had to screw up. Somebody let this inside get in here. Our recovery plan's done, but we can't let you go now after you've seen us here. Hey. Yes, sir. Teach this little boy a thing or two about pain. Aye, aye, sir. You just leave everything to me. You can be sure the lab will be the job will be done while we return to the lair. I don't know where I got lead from. See to it. There he's gone. But now you heard the man. I'm asking to let lair too. You know what to do. Wait, does he look like he's more? He's, he has more. Of, he looks like he's more of a rank than him. Wait a second, that's not what you said. And let me explain. We have a crucial job to do at the lair. We need to make shadow Pokemon from the from those that were on the ship. You do that this is important, don't you? If you were to do this job, you would take 38 percent more effort than I. No, right. in that case, Gordon and Mood would worsen by 72 percent. You do agree that it, it, indeed most inefficient, don't you? I was told if you were to take this boy on in my place, it would be head 63 percent in terms, in terms of overall inefficiency. You don't understand, don't you? If only for efficiency's sake, I'll be going now. He's just throwing out numbers. Why do I always get the number feeling of being, of being, of being had? Oh well, if I don't beat you here, I wouldn't be fulfilling my duties. Don't hold grudge for this. Okay, so we got a battle smart on. That seems like the other guy should have been smart on, given all those numbers and everything. So, this battle's not anything too important, so I'll probably just cut it out. I'll just show the Pokemon and then just cut out. Oh, Teleki! Teleki is evolving! Teleki is now. Azatu! Mm. I don't know what to think of it. It's like very. Mm, it's like a bowling pin. It's awesome. He's gone? Who's this guy? He's kind of walking over to me pretty slowly. I want you better than those downright bizarre people. You're some kind of tough, aren't you? Huh, me? I just happened to stumble across the ship, so I made it my home. You know, there's plenty of food and all. I have to admit, certain things bug me, but nothing's perfect in life. I've got to admit, I'm glad that weird bunch is gone. I owe you thanks for that, at least. You must have tired off that battle, right? You can rest at my, up at my place. It's in the wheelhouse. Okay, so... It's a pretty nice guy. He's just a random guy, just squatting here. But at least I got healed. Well, did you get some decent rest? You're free to use that bear whenever you feel tired, okay? By the way, I've got this favor to ask of you. See, every so often, I hear these odd noises coming from deep in the ship's hull. I think there's something skulking around down there, but it's too creepy for me to go take a look, see? How about you go look for me? Sure. Thank you kindly. That noise has been really eating at my nerves lately. I can hardly sleep now. So when you're done investigating, I need you to tell me what, tell me if you found anything. Okay, so we know that they were doing stuff here, and oh, what's this? Battle CD18. We know that Cipher has stolen Pokemon from this ship and is now turning them into Shadow Pokemon. But now we just have to explore this because apparently there's been noises going on here. So let me just get a quick look at this. There are two items here. So let me just um. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a long process to get him, but jump down, push this across. It's not that complicated, but it can be. A, it seems like it's gonna be a touch bit long-winded. So, open this. Got a firestone. Pretty cool, but I don't have any use for it because none of my Pokemon require any stones to evolve now, so it's still just a matter of leveling them up, because some of my Pokemon are starting to lag a little, but that's mainly because they're... It's because they're not bad, it's just that they 
haven't evolved yet and once they evolve they'll become good but until then they're gonna be lagging a little bit it's I hate to say that about some of my awesome Pokemon but it's unfortunately the case and I'm gonna have to do a, another couple pushes to get this thing into position for me to get this item because I don't know what this item is I assume it's gonna be good but one can never be too sure so push it in place Okay, so it's a little bit tedious trying to do all this stuff. What do you got in here? Got a max ether. Hmm, pretty good. It's a PP restoring item. I'm not sure. I forget how useful PP restoring items are in XD, but uh, they're certainly worth having. There, there's no harm in having them except for the fact that uh, shit. I should have should have been using the D-pad. Uh, let's just um skip ahead until something's happening because I fucked up okay everything's back in place so let's just head on over and through here because okay we got it's just it's only for a little bit longer so let's just get a quick idea of it okay I'm gonna push this one over here so I can just grab this one quickly because See, I think some of these have some decent stuff. TM35. I think this is Flamethrower. So, um... Let's see if my memory is correct. Yes, it is Flamethrower. So, how about I just screw everything and teach that right away to Ruption? Because Ember's been lacking a bit in power, so now this is more than twice the power. So, definitely worth it. Hell yeah. Got Flamethrower. Oh, and I just noticed that Hey Dizzle has an item. What do you have, Hey Dizzle? What do you got? Another super potion. Pretty good as well. Okay. Let's push this one over here. Let's just get that in position. Let's just, um... Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I see how to do this. Sorry this is a little bit boring, but, um... It's just... You just gotta do it. You just gotta... Take... You gotta take the good with the bad and the bad with the good, and that's how the song goes. It doesn't exist. I'm fairly sure there's a song similar to that, but I don't know it. Let's just okay, they're in place, and make sure I'm using the D-pad. Okay, so I can go for more precise movement. Okay, and got a yellow flute. And I forget what that does, but I believe it's does something decent enough. Okay, so here we are. <gasps> It's the bone fly. What was that? It's the bone fly. Okay, let's head on over. Let's go grab it. Uh oh, what's wrong? B -b 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 -bon. Oh, I scared him. I scared him. Oh. Okay, so easily scared. Okay. Maybe if I approach them slowly. Just gotta get all Metal Gear up in here. Okay. Let's go the slowest possible speed. Just like, okay. There's no way I can startle him. See how slow I am moving. Just feeling like Solid Snake just sneaking up on someone. Just gotta be right and ready. Almost there. Almost there. Just about to get him. Just about to save Bonsly. Gonna get my road up. Uh, no! No, Bonsly! Bonsly! Ugh. Speed, I'd like to write a novel featuring you as the main character. Please let me interview you. I have a good feeling of the story. I'm, I might be generous with my thanks. Thank you. Damn it! So the mails, it just ran off. Great. Great, great, great. Hmm, what's this? Oh! Got leftovers! Okay. Got leftovers. That was dropped. Anything... Just have a quick check of the room to make sure I haven't missed anything. Yes, I almost missed this. Got a luxury ball. Ah, uh, so too bad I don't have any Pokemon left for my team that I could use to get that for. And I, I just got the leftovers, but I think I'm going to give the leftovers to Skulton. I just think it's a good fit, given that he's going to be my... Well, she's, sorry, going to be my tank. So, uh... uh now I just have to work my way back out again. So, yes, we we're just about to get the bone slide. 
And then you had Jovi's sister's mom, Kala's, startling it and making it run away. So... We didn't get the bonsai, so we can't get the reward. That's a pain in the ass, to be frank. To be frank, to be Bill. Ugh. So, let's just head back up and tell the guy what it was. Oh, hey, so how was it? Was there anything down there? Allow me to explain. I described the Pokemon that was deep in the ship's hull. I see, so there was a Pokemon down there. I'll sleep better at night knowing that. Is that right? So it's a Pokemon that a girl I should have found. And you say it got away? Well, this place isn't a very welcome place where wild Pokemon are surviving. Why don't you try to look for a place where wild Pokemon are apt to gather? Well, I don't they'll be heading off for home now. I don't you I don't saw Wild Pokemon. Or is that? I'm sure they did. I'll see you whenever you like. You're always welcome. So, yes, if you want to get Bonsai, you're gonna, he has a chance of appearing at the Poke Spots. So, well, let's just head out of here. There's not much else we can really do here. Perhaps I'll. Just in case I missed anything around here, and it's a pretty solid flag texture. Okay, just want to make sure I didn't miss any items or anything around here. Um, no, I don't think there are any items. Oh, Rosalia and the Purify Chamber is ready to be purified. Okay, so, I guess we should probably head out and see what we can do next, because I'm not sure what else we can do here. We've Solved the mystery, so let's just head out and out of here. Oh! Uh-oh. Hold it, no one gets past here. Uh... These aren't Cypher. Oh, no, this isn't good. I'm walking of Team Snagum. It wouldn't hurt you to remember that. It won't hurt you to forget his name, either. Silence! Huh, you. You don't have a clue about who Team Snagum happens to be, do you? Back in the old days, grown men would, sh would shook when they heard our name. Sheesh. But that's alright. We'll get back to snagging Pokemon just like the oldest and terrify the world again. And we'll do it by using your snag machine. What? Oh, you want to throw down? Fine, I'll throw down. Whoops. I know you're a great battler, but I don't have any of that. Gloom, release your sleep powder. Send this kid off to bed, Evi. Wait, what? He's just going to attack me? Whoa. Okay, so he attacked me. <laughs> yeah, the snag machine is mine. Quick, let's get back to the hideout. Aye, can you imagine how happy Gonzap's gonna be with us? Oh, we've lost the snag machine. Oh, great. Uh, huh? Oh, it's you again. You helped out again. Huh, are you awake now? Looks like you had a rough time of it. Are you alright? That bunch I saw. Weren't they team snagging? I only want to pick a fight with you. I just, once again, I explain without words. Is that right? So that's been happening in the world at large. Team Snagum's a bunch of crooks and thugs. They were snagging Pokemon from people with Cyber's help. I haven't heard about them for the last couple years, so I figured they fell apart. I guess not, huh? Anyway, seems to me you need to get back to that thing they took from you. I think they took off north, chasing after another bunch of strange characters. Maybe you ought to get Jim Chase too. And it's right around here, on the north side of Eglo Canyon. Okay, so... Unfortunately, the one thing that makes up the majority of this game's mechanics, the snag machine has been taken from us. So now we can't snag Pokemon. So, <sighs> I'm afraid to say our journey is going to come to a halt because we can't steal back Shadow Pokemon. So, in the next episode of Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, we are going to head onwards and try to recover our snag machine. See you guys then.